All right, welcome back everyone. So in this video, I wanted to kind of just do like a, like a public service announcement and, and go over some things that um, are happening in the market. I said I was going to be more vocal and give my opinion just to kind of save as many people as possible and put as much information out there so that people are making or at least have a different perspective to make their uh, their their decisions uh, and before they get involved in coins or uh, even if they're already involved. And I want to do this one specifically on meme tokens. So the the biggest thing is I, I know people primarily get invested for, for money, monetary value. And if we take a look here, uh, this is going to be a little different from the charting just because not all of them are available on uh, charts here. So you have like Doge, uh, Shiba Inu, um, I think, what was it? I don't know if it's uh, Pepe or PP. I uh, know that was really popular, I believe, last year. Um, you have Floki Inu, uh, Baby Doge, and uh, it's, a, it's a million of them out there. It exploded after uh, 2021. So the the primary thing is, and I know a lot of times tokens, and they, they launch themselves, and they have their marketing campaigns, and then they try, and, they, and, they, and they'll pivot a little later on to something else to say, okay, well, we're going to have some form of utility or, uh, you know, build a business around it and stuff like that for something for longevity purposes. So you, I, I believe we have to understand that a lot of these coins or tokens that do pop up, they're cash grabs. And it's, it's just, you know, opportunity for you, you know, if you're smart about entries and exits, yes, you can make money, but they're, is like 99, I think there's like 22,000 or something like that, uh, crypto uh, or coins. And most of them are just there to make money. A lot of times the devs are, you know, own a controlling interest. And the truth of the matter is most people, on the, on the majority of those coins are going to be liquidity for the whales. And most of those coins are going to go to zero. And I believe that is going to happen in this bull run. I believe that a lot of this absurd number of coins that we've seen explode just because it's, they're easy to make. Uh, I believe a lot of them are going to disappear over the course of this run. I think that the um, initial excitement of the, the run is causing a lot of them to rally. But I don't think that this is something that's going to carry over uh, into the future, especially now that institutions are getting involved. I think that um, we'll see kind of like a narrowing of the the crypto and kind of like the, especially like I say, like the top 10, top 15. I think they're going to settle in their perspective areas and have like their primary functions, whether that be for utility purposes or um, you know, business transactions. I kind of like the, the banking sector is looking at XRP, Cardano, has, um, Cardano for the same thing. Uh, Bitcoin is, you know, uh, digital gold, basically. And I think that after this cycle, it's going to be an institutional game anyway, uh, because I believe that BlackRock and some of these other companies that have ETFs are going to be snatching it up. But, BT but BTC and Ethereum, like a lot of those coins, aren't necessarily mean tokens. So that's the, the differential between the two. So if we're looking at the meme tokens, we have to kind of say, OK, what's your purpose? You're going to need to first identify your purpose for being in the coin. So is it just if it's just to make money, then, you know, you can trade just about anything. But you have to kind of keep that in mind that uh, there is outside of monetary reasons, if there's not a vision for the coin, or something, there's no there's nothing to propel it to go up long term. So you're going to always be at the <clears throat> the mercy of the market in those extremes. And then if that long term vision or something better comes along, you'll see a split or a jump ship um, in, in the community. Um, I remember back in 2021 when Doge and Shiba, well, when Shiba Inu was still the, the Dogecoin killer and the marketing campaign was heavily based um, around Doge. And, you know, just being a creator in the space at that time, you would see if, you know, if Elon said something, it was, you know, whatever. Um, Doge was brought up, uh, Shiba Inu was inserted. Like, okay, well, if Doge is going to the moon, so is Shiba Inu. If Doge is going to be accepted on Twitter, so is Shiba Inu. So if, if Elon owns Doge, he owns Shiba Inu too. Like, whatever it, it was, it was literally the marketing campaign, and it worked thus far. You know, it, it you know they're number ten. They built a large uh, community. I think they have about one point five million holders now. Um, and you know, it, it's it, it was kind of like the 
attachment of this this run that came out of 2021 you'll see that it wasn't just them it was a lot of coins that you know there's coins literally named dude something um and it, it was just to kind of like attract the people out of that market to say that hey doge is ran here's something much cheaper you can get similar results we're going to be it's going to be the next doge coin and, and i really wanted to make this video just to kind of point that out and say that when you have tokens like that and and, and you say um this is going to be the next something else long term wise this i don't understand okay what's the purpose behind that and if it's not long term and if you are saying i just want to make money and get out set those parameters you know to the moon is not a target just from an investor standpoint someone who does the stock market and crypto uh to the moon is not a target um it, that's not it's not even a game plan you have to have targets entries and exits on those uh on those assets otherwise you're just going to end up being liquidity for each cycle and i don't want that for any of you um, you know, the, you'll see, I, I do my best to uh, put out information and based off of what I'm seeing in the charts, give something factual that you can check and verify for yourself and not just get on here and pour emotions about how I feel. Um, I've witnessed the downside of that. Um, for those of you who've been with me for a few years, I'm sure you guys remember my my Dogecoin correction video of 90% before uh, Elon went on SNL. When I said Bitcoin was going to 20K and Doge was going to six, and like if you go back and look at those videos and read the comments, it's, you know, it, it, you'd be surprised how many subscribers I actually lost on those videos. But I want to, the purpose of me having this this channel and the reason why I don't uh, post a lot if there's, I don't, I don't have anything to say is because I want to just put some reliable information out there and try and help the, the retail sector. Um, what happened in 2021 when that transition um, retail was basically liquidity for the market. And it's just because a lot of it was new money or what institutions would call, or if you read any of the finance blogs, a dumb money, you, you pretty much are being fed to the sharks and the experienced investors. And they know you're going to have shiny object syndrome. If you, if I come up with a new coin today and it rallied 10,000%, I guarantee you, you can get 20, 50,000 people to put money in there just because it went up. No other reasons. Don't know anything about the coin. Don't care. They just hope it continue go it continue to goes up. Meanwhile, the developer owns eighty percent of the coin. This coin circulating supply, seventy five percent of the coin circulating supply. He's just waiting to duck. And I don't want that cycle repeated going on into the future. So I know this video may seem more like a lecture than a TA video, but I really wanted to put that out there because I know that you'll have people who are in the creator space and they will get paid uh we get offers um from uh, i can only i can i can't even think about how many emails i've got to promote certain coins to promote coins that are obviously trash but they're like hey we'll pay you you know x amount of cash up front we'll give you some of the coins um and you know you'll, you'll be able to make money you promote it to your audience and everybody you know we make money you make money it's great and I've never taken any of those offers because, you know, it, it's a it's you know sc it's scummy and B, it's just kind of feeding people to sharks. They're just taking advantage of people. And I know that a lot it happens a lot on YouTube and you'll see um, a lot of these coins pop up and people have, oh, this is my my private group. And here's some coins. Let's uh, let's trade. We got, I got insider information. Yeah, you're getting paid from the devs. Like what's the and that's one of the things I try and show you guys on the chart. So if you guys can couple that with your own uh, decisions and, and make and do what's best for you. So I don't um, want to just kind of cause like that, um, you know, that, that hopium run into coins that I don't believe are gonna last. And I'm not saying any of these coins aren't gonna last. Um, if, if I had to pick two that I say would have, that has a strong enough audience to kind of roll over, I think Shiba Inu has crossed that point. Uh, I think she has a lot. I think she has 1.5 million holders, something like that. Um, and I, I think they have a, a threshold to kind of survive, but I just don't know what their long-term goal is. I think they were last time I heard they were thinking about burning some tokens because I know right now they're in the trillions. And, and that's one thing that's going to contribute to um, the gains that's in that coin just because they have so many. It's, it's going to do similar gains to what uh, Doge did when it was below a penny. It, it's not that difficult to to post gains when you are that cheap. Um, 
So long term wise, just kind of keep that in mind. Set targets. That's the biggest thing I can say um, if you're going to invest in tokens and different uh, assets. Make sure you set targets and don't be on this um, endless loop of I just want to sell for higher and have this imaginary number out there that you haven't said. Uh, you know, if you're going to be on these coins and they don't and you know that they're technically cash grabs, make sure you set targets and stick to them, you know. Uh, Blue Keenan says, trade the chart, not your heart. And I agree with that completely. Um, you, you have to remove your emotions from it. So, you know, I uh, just wanted to put that out there and um, you know, put that information out there so that you guys can think about it, at least. Because uh, I know that as the market gets hot, there's going to be more new tokens and there's going to be some token of 2024, some coin of 2024. And it's going to put up some incredible gains and the market's going to get shiny object syndrome and it's going to be a liquidity grab to that. And then um, it'll, you know, either fizzle out or just have people sitting in there. And that's one thing I like about some of these other coins. They've been around for so long that it's not based off of the hype era because they pre-existed. So anyway, just going to keep that in mind. I think about it at least. And uh, when, I hope this video provided some form of value for you. And I'll see you guys in the next one.